My name is Amanda. I'm Alyssa, Amanda's sister. And so hopefully, we definitely entertain ourselves, so hopefully we'll entertain you in this video. But yeah, today I thought it'd be fun to talk about baseball fashion. I don't know, yeah, so let's just like talk about it. I feel like, in my opinion, there are some specific like iconic fashion pieces that have come straight from baseball. What do you think? People wearing baseball caps that have become part of like a social norm in terms of like, it's so normal to see someone wearing those things. What is your take on like the three quarter sleeve baseball tee? I actually think of uh, the Sandlot because that was like Benny the Jet Rodriguez's like signature look. And so I always kind of saw it as like, like his look and like a t-shirt or like a baseball quarter sleeve shirt would be his. I like it. I think it's a good fashion and it's kind of, I don't know, it's like a good go-to. It's it's not really even used in baseball as much anymore as it is just now like a fashion, but like... I mean, I don't know like the history of the quarter sleeve shirt, but like when I watch movies, like the 60s and 70s and 80s and whatever, like they're always wearing those quarter sleeve t-shirts. like. People don't wear them for baseball per se today. I mean, maybe like little league stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't That's know. Like I, I used to like wear that type of t-shirt. I think like a lot of sports, a lot of sports and like baseball and stuff, usually the colors are more like solid or closer to neutral as a color than something else. Yeah. And like, cause you're not gonna get like a pink baseball team. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you might low key get like a pink soccer team maybe. Yeah. So it's interesting. Yeah, now they're more like, yeah, more neutral colors, more like blendy color, like silver kind of blends with a lot. So a lot of teams use silver with whatever color. Like, can you see in 2040, like a baseball team having like a promotional night where they're like, oh, like throwback to 2022 or whatever. Can you see that happening? Like, I remember as a kid, like I never thought like the early 2000s would, um, be a fashion, you know, because we see it in True. the present day, but now it totally is. And so now those things, those element of clothes are now early 2000s associated. So I feel like they'll probably change the baseball pants in the future. And then like, that'll be the look of 2022. So like the more that they change the uniforms, the more um, you're going to get people wanting to buy that. Because marketing is essential to sports, you know? It is, and baseball caps are such a big marketing tool. Baseball caps are everywhere. It's unreal. And I think I had a video on this, low-key. <laughs> baseball. Dude, baseball caps are so, like, iconic. It's unreal. Like, people don't talk about this enough. Even baseball fans don't talk about the fact that, like, baseball started baseball caps. Mm-hmm. Today, they're everywhere. Everybody wears them. And they're not just like, you know, the San Diego Padres cap. No, like, you, uh, football doesn't wear baseball caps. They wear helmets. And you can still buy a baseball cap to represent the, football team. the New York Jets or whatever. It's crazy. And like, golf, for example, never like had, well, their golf hats were originally like, I don't know, like, it was like newsboy hats or whatever. You know, stuff like that. And like, they've evolved where, now they, you know, they do wear baseball caps. Now they, they've kind of turned into the name dad hats, but like essentially they're baseball caps. And if you say baseball cap, people know exactly what you're talking about. Do you remember that weird era where people were wearing tube socks? But think about where those tube socks came from. Yeah. They you know? Well, baseball now uses like, or baseball still uses like the elastic, um, but it like, hmm. So it's like plain socks and they have like elastic thing that they wear around their foot that goes up. And that is like what looks like a stripe on the side of the socks. And so now it's like totally a look for like, cause in fast pitch slash uh, softball, they, they just have like in the cotton sock, they just have like the line in green. Cause like for whatever reason they don't use them, but it's totally a look now. And it's totally a fashion statement to just get that like ingrained. So it looks like a baseball sock. How do you know all that? Um, trial and error. Yeah, or just Ugh. like straight up like the Sophie shorts or softy shorts. Oh yeah. So, what, like, I know a lot of girls wear them for like sports like baseball a lot. I think other sports too, like volleyball maybe. 
You know what I, I wore like back in my like pseudo softball days? I would wear like windbreakers that were like those batting jackets. Like I, I need to do research, but from what I know, those like batting jacket windbreakers and any windbreaker looking practice type of coat or jacket like came from baseball because they needed something to play in when they were practicing or mm. when they hop on the field and um there's even like the look of like i think they call it a varsity jacket where mm -hmm. it's not really like the one that like the letterman it's more like a thick thick windbreaker type of jacket that they would wear in maybe like colder areas like boston or like new york yeah and it evolved into like you know golfers wear those types of jackets and stuff totally i remember i had one that i got from all stars when i played fast pitch too and I wore that, it had my name on it and everything. I wore it until the zipper, well, I even still wore it when the zipper broke. I had so much baseball slash like fast pitch clothes. So much gear, it's too much. I can't think of another gear. sport that has so much other crap. Yeah, cause you, cause you, you also need your bag. Yeah, yeah, there's so much like equipment. extraneous equipment, you know, that you, uh. So much that you don't even think about. Like you need a glove when you bat. Let alone being a catcher, you know. Okay, we'll just wrap it up here then. I hope we sparked a discussion on baseball fashion. And if you have any other comments on this, definitely comment below. And then please like and subscribe if you could. Bye. Bye.